Are you coming in today? I hold my husband and I was feeling some personal stuff. Hi. How is she? Oh. If Molly can't make it, we just would have to keep hanging out. Let me let me just call her. Hey, what you doing? Reading a book? What y'all reading ass? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the next episode of The Wind Down. Today, Issa and I will go into all things episode four this season. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. So in Faulty, okay, we get to really see Dathan's world yeah. in this episode and what his work looks like. And also ever since Issa cried into his mouth. Yeah, full, uh, full sobs. <laughs> <laughs> Things have been a little different between them. Princess, how do you think that Nathan feels after Issa cried on slash in him? Shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I think he feels horrible. Just tracking back their history, right? It's like the end of season three, it's like I'm here for the long hauls. Season four, I know you're with the dude. You come back. I've been a friend of yours for a year. It's finally going to happen. And then here you are full crying over some other dude in his mouth. How do you think he feels? I mean, when you put it like that, I can see that he <laughs> might feel a little perturbed. Sure, sure. And he expresses it in this episode, yeah. which is the most raw guy conversation. Yeah. We can never get to see Nathan, like, just be kind of upset and yeah. be raw with his guys because yeah. he's always been there for her, yeah. which is something that we combated yeah. in the room of just like, why? Why is Nathan always available? Yeah. Also, then you ask him, can you stay and hold me? Which is like, that is the worst, too. No dude wants to just hold. She did not ask him that, <laughs> by the way. He just did it. He did. Know? He did, but and it's also... Yeah, like, yes. don't do it half ass. No dude wants to, like, be that guy. It was a, it's a big ask. I think Issa is embarrassed and acknowledges it, but it's also like she's been holding on to this pain from Lawrence yeah. for a while, and it had to come out at some time. Yeah, well, it came out. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think Issa and Nathan are having communication problems? Why don't they know at this point what they actually want from each other? Issa's not necessarily used to expressing the hurt that right. she's been feeling. And with Nathan, she's also been suppressing any kind of feelings that she's had towards him. Right. Um, and she even expresses that at the end of the episode. Like, you know, she was scared to look stupid and admit that she had feelings. Normally, I'm always taking up for the guys in the, our series, but this would be a time I kind of feel like some of this is on Nathan. He probably didn't ask himself mentally, can I actually put this to the test and be a friend? And I think the crying in the mouth is that. That's it. so interesting because I think he did resolve, like, okay, I'm gonna be this girl's friend. I've been, like, she's putting me on ice for a year. I've been out here dating. She's helping me throw these events. And like, I have been her friend. I How have... sweet you think that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get his frustration where it's like, okay, I played this part and now like you're ready to kiss you. And I'm like, okay, you're vulnerable, but you're not ready. You're crying in my mouth. Like, I'm tired of this. What do you want? From? Right. The one thing I think they actually probably needed to do was actually talk it yes, out and that, be absolutely. clear about boundaries. If they talk, we wouldn't have a we show. We wouldn't have a show. <laughs> And I tell you all the time, if yes. Molly was good and well-centered, we wouldn't have a no. show. So as you know, in this episode, we meet Nathan's cousin, yeah. Thomas, and he brings up a bit of Nathan's past. Right. How do you feel like knowing this backstory and what Nathan was going through mentally is important to inform us about how he might interact with Issa? I think it definitely gives us room for pause. Just by the mere fact that Nathan never says he had a cousin that lives in L.A. Yeah. Is by proxy of like, wait, how could I have known you all this time? And I never knew of a cousin that was out here. It was obviously fucked up for his cousin to kick him out with no place to go. But I think the way that Nathan handles these confrontations yeah. is very indicative of how he may handle yes. confrontations with Issa. He also has a tendency, like to your point, to kind of shut down. He's sort of at the beach, not really being honest. He's sort of in the car voicing his frustration with his guys, but not really talking to Issa. They're kind of laughing about Paul Wall at the Mexican restaurant. Again, not talking, not saying the thing. So I do feel like he kind of shuts down and Issa's a little bit avoidant. It feels like at his core, Nathan is really scared of rejection. Yeah. You know, I think literally someone saying, get out of our house. Yeah. Like, you have to <laughs> yeah. find someone else yeah. to live. It has scarred him in a way. And I think even with Issa, like he says to her at the end, 
Like, I can't change how people see me. Yeah. And, you know, if you do see the real me, are you gonna go somewhere? Are you rejecting yeah. me? And I think part of him deep down felt like her crying in his mouth was a rejection <laughs> of him, uh, in a way of just like, oh, I don't want right, you. Right, this I is all I have. Right. I want somebody else. That hurts. Yeah. So I do kind of feel for him. Yeah. He's trying to find a footing and a home between not necessarily having one with his biological family, he and Easter kind of turmoil, yeah. things at the shop, just always kind of feeling like you can't be stable. How do you say goodbye to a past relationship while beginning a whole new one. Not comparing. And it's very easy to, right? So things that feel out of your comfort zone for what you just left to something new, sometimes you can like mistake those for red flags. Comparing what things were to where things are can be difficult in the beginning. What about yeah. you? Spending time alone is so important. That for me is the answer, is just cleansing yourself of the past relationship. Do you think Issa did anything romantic with anybody between Lawrence and that Nathan moment in two? I do think that she went on a couple of dates, yeah. but I think her and Molly depended on yeah. each other. Yeah. Like I'm sure that Issa was like, well, if you're not dating, I don't need to date right. either. <laughs> right. So this is all pretty new right. for her. Well, as always, thank you guys for tuning in with us and stay tuned for an all new Insecure next week. You won't want to miss it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.